All right, hi everyone. So we're gonna take a look at how to make a for loop inside of Java within an IDE, so like IntelliJ, here we go. So we're gonna go and create a new project. I'm gonna choose the default here with the SDK version 14. I'm not gonna make it a console or terminal template. I'm gonna say um, example Java for loop two. All right in a different window so I'll bring it over here. I'm now going to create a new source class so Java class right there. We're going to call it uh, my little loop like that. All right so we got a public class right there. I'm now going to do a public uh, static void main string args okay open the curly brace. All right, so I got my class called my little loop. It's inside of a project called example Java for loop two right there. And inside of here, I've got my main method. And so from there, I'm going to put in a for loop. All right, which uh, let me see. So I could go for I is equal to zero semicolon. Oops, no, I got to do int I is equal to zero. And I'm going to do it for I less than say five. And then I'm going to say i is equal to i plus one like that. And let me see, I need a curly brace right there to begin and end the for loop. And I'm going to go system.out.print line. I'm going to say uh, um, I'm looping. And then I'm going to do, I'm going to add in oh, like this plus, and then I'm going to say i is equal to this, because this is my counter, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to put the i counter right there. So I'm going to concatenate it right there, semicolon right there. Okay, so I'm now going to build it. And this will run inside of IntelliJ, it'll show up in this little console on the bottom. All right, I go to the little triangle right here, I press run my little loop dot main, like that, and we should see that print statement show up a bunch of times. How many times? Let's find out. Now I've done this example in Java shell or J shell, it's a little bit faster. If you're just doing a little program, trying something out, it takes a little bit longer in IntelliJ. That's all right. So it's building, building, building. There we go. So now it says I'm looping and it's done it one, two, three, four, five times. If I were to do say I is equal to one and I is equal to, or is less than or equal to five, compile. And we're gonna run it one more time just to make sure it works. Let's run it. And we should see the same sort of thing as this right here once it's built, but it starts at I is equal to one and it ends at I is equal to five. And there you got it for loops in Java in IntelliJ.